Once upon a time, four sisters lived in a small town. Meg, the eldest one, was beautiful and very grown up. Joe, the second sister, was a tomboy and wanted to become a writer. Beth, the third, was shy, gentle, and kind. Amy, the youngest, was the prettiest of all and could get away with almost anything. Their neighbors called them Little Women. One day, a soldier came to their house. He wanted to take their father to the army to fight in the Civil War. I have an official order for you, sir. Please, get ready to leave. Don't cry, girls. I will be back very soon. Don't cry. No, Dad, please don't go. After their father had gone to the war, hardship descended on the family. Without their father, they couldn't get enough money to buy food for all of them. Their mother tried to work, but she still didn't make enough to support the family. They didn't know how they would make it until their father got back. One day, they received a letter from the battlefield. It said their father had been wounded in battle and was now in the hospital. I have to be there to take care of your father, but where can we get money for the train ticket? Mother was very upset, and as she spoke, tears welled up in her eyes. It will be all right, Mother. I will find the money. Jo was the toughest of the sisters, and she believed she would find a way. When Joe finally returned home, everyone was shocked to see that all of her beautiful hair was gone. With a big smile on her face, Joe took out some money and handed it to her mother. You see, I found some money as I promised. Joe, where did you get this money? I sold my hair and I earned this. In front of her family, Joe pretended that everything was all right. But that night, when she went to bed, she couldn't help crying. Meg tried to console her. Joe, please don't cry, please. Joe, please don't cry. I'm sorry. I should have sold my stuff instead. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. It will grow back soon. Oh, Joe. The sisters embraced tenderly. Their mother left, and the sisters had to take care of themselves and do chores around the house. Be careful, Amy. Mind your own business, Beth. <laughs> One day, Beth became very ill. She had a high fever and was shaking all over. Her sisters took very good care of her. How are you feeling, Beth? I'm sorry I was mean before. Please get better. Please get better, please. Despite her sister's love and care, Beth felt worse and worse. Joe, we need a doctor, Joe. Will you be able to find his house? Yes, it's the one with the big tree. That's right. Please bring him as soon as possible. All right, 
I will be back. Hurry, before the snow gets worse. A terrible snowstorm raged and howled outside. But Joan knew she had to get to the doctor, no matter what. Finally, the doctor arrived. He examined Beth closely and gave his diagnosis. She has scarlet fever. Keep the fever down and she will be better soon. The sisters were relieved that Beth was going to be all right, but they had another worry. The doctor couldn't understand why they still looked so concerned. Don't worry, girls. Beth will be okay as soon as the fever is gone. We are very glad to hear that. But we have no money to pay you for your visit, sir. We are so sorry. That's not a problem. I will ask your parents when they return. How about that? Well, thank you, thank you so much, doctor. The doctor gave some medicines to Beth. The sisters took even better care of Beth, hoping to make her well soon. Unfortunately, Beth was unhappy because she missed her mother. I want my mother. Mama. I want my mother. Shh, 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 don't disturb yourself, Beth. She will be back soon. Oh, please get better. She will be coming soon. She will come back soon. At that moment, their mother walked through the door. The sisters were too happy to see her and ran into her arms. Oh, mother! Yes, my daughter, I am so glad to see you. How are you? I missed you so much. Beth was also happy to see her mother. I missed you so much. Don't worry, dear. I'll take care of you now. Oh, I feel better already just because you're back, Mama. Maybe Beth was just pretending to be sick because she wanted you back so badly. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughed because they felt safe and happy. Mother, when does father come home? The war is almost over. Your father has hurt his leg, but he is already getting better and missing you all very much. I hope he will be with you soon. So don't worry, Meg. We miss father so much, mother. I know, dear. You have been so brave taking care of your sisters. Oh, I can't wait to see him, Mother. Christmas Eve came, and the sisters hung their stockings above the fireplace, waiting for their present. Amy, why are you hanging out two stockings? Do you hope to get more presents? Give it to me. Give it back. Oh, give my sock back. Beth, Amy, what are you doing? Get it back. They were still very poor, but they were happy to be together. The mother found out that her daughters were feeling worried and a little sad. It was almost Christmas, but she knew they didn't have enough money for presents. Oh, this year we're going to be alone and sad. That night, when the girls lay down to sleep, 
They each dreamed of a gift they wanted. Meg wanted to fall in love with a handsome young man. Joe dreamed about a beautiful dress. Beth dreamed about a piano. And Amy dreamed about a delicious cake. On the day of Christmas, when the sisters discovered there were no presents under the tree, they became upset, but didn't complain about it. They didn't even have money to buy their breakfast. Suddenly, they heard a knock at the door. Who could it be? Who is it? There was no response, just more knocking. Amy went to the door to see. Who's there? Who's knocking? Amy opened the door. There stood their father. Oh, Dad, welcome oh, home. Oh, Dad. Oh, we missed you. Oh, we missed dears. you so Hello, much. Hello, my darlings. I am so happy oh, to Dad. see you. <laughs> Oh, Dad, welcome. Oh, Dad. Oh, we missed you. We missed you it so much. It seemed that having their father back safe was the best Christmas present the little women could ever have imagined. <laughs>